YouTube, what up, man? I'm back with another video. I'm gonna drop some heat on y'all today. Major heat. Some major heat on how to get y'all crown right. You feel me? Get that crown. You see, I'm ragged up right now. Nothing major, man. But yeah, drop some heat on y'all today. You know, try to get y'all crowns right. Whatever you got, you know, if you're trying to get the 360 waves, you're trying to get a beehive, get that swirl pattern. Um, right now, I'm still in the process of, you know, getting my crown all the way together. I got the swirl going, trying to get the swirl going. I had like a semi beehive um, type of pattern um, earlier in the year, and then I just converted to, to the swirl, you feel me? Trying to get like the 540 pattern or something around there. Um, but yeah, that was a whole process for me. Uh, but yeah, in this video, um, I'm gonna give y'all a couple tips, show y'all a couple things on how y'all can perfect y'all crown, man. So sit back, enjoy, take notes. Yeah. Do it, yay! All right. So the first thing you want to do is find out exactly where your crown is. See, I open mine up for y'all. So y'all can see where mine is. This is my crown right here. And close it. All I'm gonna do is I usually use my small brush, which is for this video. Go this way. And use this. Now if you got a thicker crown, you can use a medium brush or whatever. But I just comb it or brush it to what my pattern is. So that's how you, you gotta find your crown first. You know, some people get the beehive um, effect with their waves. It starts like in the middle. You will see a lot of them go out like this, like this. It just go out this way. But you know, I got the swirl going, the swirl pattern going. So I just brush it with my pattern, try to get all the way around. But one thing that helped me on a journey to finding my own crown and trying to perfect it, this product right here, 360 style. This is an unnatural product, um, but it's, it's real light on your hair. So when you put it in, you wouldn't even know it was there really, but it helps. So what I usually do is just take my pinky Put it around the rim, grab some, and I'll just use the mirror to figure it out what I should, what I should do. Then put it in my crown area like this. I don't need a lot because I already did mine really, but I'm just doing this to show you all. So take that, and then you grab your brush. Do the same thing you just did and brush it in. You know, I usually do this method um like right after I'm done washing my hair. So if I want if I want my crown clothes, you know, for a certain occasion or just just practicing my crown work. I'll do it right when I get out the shower. And that'll be that. So you see that? My crown is up right now because I got a lot of hair. I'm in the middle of woofing. I haven't cut my hair down since. Well, I did cut my hair. I cut my hair. My birthday just passed, so I wanted to look a little crispy, you know what I'm saying? So I cut my hair, whatever. Um, sometime last week, but I only cut it down to a two. Um, I've been doing um, one and a half, probably, my whole time when I got serious into this wave and stuff because, I don't know, I just feel like my hair grows at a faster rate. Um, and it was looking good at the one and a half, whatever. But yeah, that crown area, just work your way around it into your pattern. So you can see mine. 
No, I haven't been even brushing like that lately, but still see me spinning. This is my weak side. I'm gonna be updating y'all on this side as well, man, because <laughs> them sides is a struggle for real. Big struggle. That's probably that's probably the hardest part. The crown was too easy for me. Too easy. But them size, man, I'm telling you. Them size ain't no joke. Size ain't no joke, man. But I mean, that's really all it is to it with the crown for me. You know what I'm saying? The only tips I got about the crown, what helped me, like, get mine like this to where I can have open clothes or, you know, it's, it's not even perfect right now. But once I lay it down, it's gonna blend in perfect with my waves. Perfect. I just took my durag off. Never stood at the line right here. But yeah, man, a couple things that helped me was woofing. And if you don't know what woof it is, it's when you grow your hair for a long time, but you still continually brush it. So like, say I've been, say I got like a month, two months worth of hair on my head. I'm still laying my hair down every night. Still doing the washer style method. We got a video on that coming soon. You know, still maintaining like it's waves on my head and you know, not a fro. So when you wolfing, most people to show they wolf, they'll comb their hair backwards. That's good too. Because when you do stuff like that, or like scramble washing, when you do stuff like that, it it like, I don't know, it changes, not changes the pattern, but confuses your ripples and waves, you know? And that just helps connections. My connections is, you know, my connections is decent. They could be better. Could be better, always. All right, let me stop playing and close this crown for real. I'm losing focus. Losing focus, man. But yeah, man, those are my tips. I'm woofing. We're not woofing, but see, y'all got me talking about woofing. I'm giving y'all tips, and I think, <laughs> but but on the crown, man, that's my, that's my tips on the crown. And I'm not even gonna edit that out because I don't even like editing like that, man. I like I like raw footage. You feel me? Raw footage way better. You can really see what I be talking about, man. But yeah, I don't, I'm not even using my wave brush right now. This is just my regular store brought brush. Got the soft side on one side, then the medium on the other side. And then I got a hard brush that I use, but. but yeah, man. That's it, man. That's really it. Let y'all see this pattern. I get most people, I usually take pictures of my backside, like, you know, and they'll be like, oh, yeah, he only spinning in the back. Nah, nah, it's that strong side right here. The connections are strong right there. And we got the top. I don't know, man. Once we get this side right, we're going to be Gucci. We're going to be good, man. I don't know when I'm gonna cut my wolf. I'll probably just end up keep getting lining the papers. And I do cut my own hair as well. I haven't cut, haven't went to the barber shop and got a haircut in like three, I think 2019 would be four years that I've been cutting my own hair. I got a big surprise for y'all. Big, big, big surprise. Probably sometime next week I'll drop another video with a surprise. You know, hopefully. We'll see. But yeah, man. Stay brushing. Stay wavy. Look at that. Stay wavy, man. Wrap up, always wrap up. Do it gang, you know what I'm saying? Do it gang. 
I don't think nobody else said that. I just came up with that. So I'm going to have to copyright that one, huh? Let's do it again, man. Yeah, man, but, you know, it's, it's real easy. The crown part is real easy. That's probably one of the easiest parts to waver for me. One of the easiest parts, man. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let y'all go with that. If y'all got any more questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new. If you're not new and you're just checking me out, go ahead and subscribe too. Subscribe, comment, like. You already know, man. Do a game. We out.